Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the laser beam and jello. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is laser beam, clear cups, different colored jello, and a helpful volunteer. A couple safety precautions here. Never look directly at a laser beam or point it at another person's eye as it may cause permanent eye damage. Enjoy. Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Grace and we are doing an experiment with jello and laser um, lights. All right. And so we never want to point the laser in the in someone's eye, right? Okay. And so what we're going to do is try to see, we're going to make a prediction. We have orange jello, cherry, lime, and blueberry, right? And we're going to see, can the laser go through them? And if not, so what's your prediction on the orange first? I think it's Let gonna. Let me move these out of the way. I think it's gonna do it. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna put the laser through. It works. You know what? I don't see it in here. I don't see it in the orange though. When you go on the side, look. I see it go all the way through, but I don't. Do you see it go through? Mm, huh? No. Well, you have to go straight, right? I don't see it going through the orange at all. I don't see the laser, but I see it come through the back end. Yeah. All right, so let's do the next one. Now your prediction on lime. What do you think the results are going to be? Wait, wait, what do you think the results are going to be? I think it's going to work. Work, and you're going to see it in the, in the green yeah. too? Okay. Is it on? Yeah. It's not even, it's not on the back wall. It's too dark. It's not even through that. So it doesn't go through the green or like if the orange made it all the way to the wall, the, the lime yeah. isn't even going through, right? So you were wrong on that one. <laughs> I was right. wrong on both. All right, you're wrong on both. So what do you think before you make your prediction? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay. Is it, you got it on? Uh-huh. It doesn't work yet. It's not going through, is it? You don't see it anywhere. And you can barely see it right, right. there. Right. So it went all the way through the orange, but you couldn't see it in the orange. Mm -mm. And the last is the uh, cherry. What do you think's here? I don't think it's going to work. Okay. Oh, it works through the... You see it? I see it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to light off of this one. So, All right. I, wow. I kind so, of thought this was going to work, but I just decided... So the red no. does work. You can see the laser, right? Mm. Let's bring back the other ones really quick. So just so we know now it's dark to see if we can see it through. Um, you we, can kind of see it. Really? Just like a little... Uh, move your head out for a second because I can't... I don't see it at all. Like the red, we really saw it. And it's yeah. not the back. But here's the orange. Let's see if we see it in the orange. Oh, oh yeah, I do see, see it. it. Yeah, does yeah, look yeah like I was right on one of them. Yep. <laughs> All right. So there was orange and the cherry worked, right? Uh, green kind of works. Uh, I don't really. It kind of looks like the blue, but the green goes all the way through where the blue didn't. Yeah. But but um, it's not going through. I can't see it, right? Yeah. All right. So we had two work, right? All right. Once so the science behind this is when the jello or the gelatin is an example of a colloid, which is an evenly dispersed mixture that scatters light due to its large particles and size. When the laser is shined through the red jello, the laser beam is clearly visible in the jello itself. Tiny particles of red jello reflect from the red light of the laser, making it visible. For this reason, the red jello transmits red light. However, the laser is not visible in the blue jello. It does not pass through the container at all. And this is because the blue pigments absorb the red light. The blue jello absorbs the other colors of light and reflects only blue light. Therefore, the red laser beam is not visible and the red light is absorbed and actually turned into heat. So end results, uh, Grace picked uh, a couple to work and not to work and she ended up uh, being right twice and wrong twice. So 50-50 chance. So pretty good job, Grace. Thanks for your help. Much appreciated. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what we should do next. And I hope you enjoyed this video again. Bye! <laughs>